And hello everyone, Gabe the Izzard. I am starting a walk today from my favorite place to eat some soul food, David's Family Kitchen on the corner of Broadway and 23rd. So I'm just gonna take a little walk down Spring Street, which is just one block off of Broadway. Go ahead, tag along. I am here on the back side of where Dollar General, Sims Barbecue, that's where that building is right there, 23rd and Spring. I'm going to be heading north. I'm going to walk into downtown. Making my way past the governor's mansion. And FedEx copy store and gonna have to zigzag over onto Center Street just to cross over 630. You'll see when we get there. I've done some walking videos about the tornado, or I've mentioned the tornado of 99, and this is the spot where the tornado had came through and took out some trees. That's why it's a little clearer right here in this section. I hear a cat meowing loudly. I have walked some of these streets before uh, in a governor's mansion video that actually gave a little bit of history about some of the houses, such as this one here, where a lady was murdered in her kitchen. Some suspected the husband they were living apart. Mystery never solved. Well, this is really considered the Governor's Mansion District. because the governor's mansion is right up here. Lots of very nice and very old homes are in this section. It's a very tall sunflower. I like this. Architecture on that house the arched bricks.
really like the Halloween decorations. It's that time of year. Just about uh, 12 days away. This is the beginning of the governor's mansion. The gate is open, a guard is posted. They might be having an event there. The perimeter is shrouded with these hedges, but at the front of it, you can see in and around Christmas time, pre-COVID, they'd allow you to come in and do a tour and they would have Santa Claus. Hey there. Hi. Kind of a corner view of the property. Sorry if you hear chewing. I'm having a little snack right now. It'll be done pretty soon. Yeah, what about it? Episcopal Church. movie has been filmed there God's not dead gonna cross should probably cross in the pedestrian lane but I'm gonna cross it right here this is a very nice looking church even on the inside I've been in once before and it's got a red door. Nice courtyard and garden right in there. I have done a walking video in there. I think it was with the kind of a tour of homes that I did. My apologies if you hear me cleaning my mouth. One of my pet peeves is hearing people chew. I don't know why it irritates me so bad, but it is one of those things that I just can't stand. Mouth noise. Of course, one would say 
my videos are loaded with mouth noise. I just yammer on. This house is for sale here. I'm sure you can look it up on realtor.com. Even has a pool. You can live next to this yellow house. They seem to be cool because they have a peace flag hanging. Crossing 15th Street. <clears throat> Main Street is three blocks that way to the east. Beautiful flowers. And another house for sale. People are really trying to get out of houses now to get the most out of them because it's a seller's market. And I gotta say, some of these houses, such as this one here, have a lot of maintenance to do. Keeping a Historic houses up to date is a uh, money consuming venture. Cross and Daisy Bates. couple uh, brand new houses this one and this one are recently constructed and then this one here was, was relocated about 15 16 years ago it was the doll house and it was located over by Arkansas Children's Hospital. I'm actually going to cross the street right here. And they uh, moved it over here because it was going to be either torn down or they had to do something with it. So they moved it. And then this is a new modern house. And then this is a architecture firm. And that's going to be right here on the corner of 13th in the spring. This is a pretty wild building to see here in the downtown area. It's just a metal building. Tree growing through it. It's destroying the building. A 
this is a bar that you can bring your dogs to. It's called the Bark Bar. Closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Here's that FedEx off, uh, copy office I was telling you about. Alright, so this is going to have to be the detour coming up to Interstate 630. And... The only way to get over is to either go over the Broadway Bridge there or the Center Street Bridge there. And I'm going to take the Center Street around. Larry's Pizza. It's a local, uh, I'd say chain because they do have multiple locations. Pizza Buffet, where they bring the pizza out to you as you, uh, as it comes out of the oven. They bring it around, tell you what they have, and if you want one, you can get a slice. This one is only open for lunch. A dangerous intersection to have to traverse because you have cars coming off the freeway at 100 miles an hour and then people that run that stop sign and it's a uh, popular hobo hangout uh, for them panhandling money and what not it's a very beautiful day today the leaves haven't started to drop yet it just hasn't got that cold snap I'm sure it won't be too long. This is another pretty sketchy intersection. Kind of wait for this light to turn green. There it is. Now I'm going to go. phone notified me that I'm low on battery so I really hope that I can make it the next 10 blocks and not get completely cut off
Simmons building. There's the historic Mosaic Templars building on the corner of 9th and Broadway. I have a video of that. There's the Mims. Little hiccup there. And I'm back on my way. Window full of pumpkins. The guy said to subscribe to Nine Deuce TV. Number nine, Deuce TV. So I'll put that in the video so I can remember it myself. So over here, they're tearing down this old McDonald's that relocated across the street. They're gonna build a Chick-fil-A and they're gonna tear down all of these buildings here to create a drive-through. And boy, oh boy, are people up in arms about that. Granted, there were no businesses in this building and no prospects, but uh, tearing it down, boy. That, we were not happy about that. Tattoo parlor here. Cool mural painted here. is dead when you get downtown 
nothing really happening. There's only a few businesses that are actually open, a few restaurants, really no retail areas. Capitol Street, one good thing, there usually isn't very much traffic. There's east, and there's west. Capital in the background. Less than five blocks from where we're stopping. And I'm gonna make it an abrupt stop because I know that my phone is gonna die and that's what I use. All right, 10% left. I'll make it. Stevens building. A lot of these are just law offices. Got the Pulaski County Courthouse there. are redoing this building here uh, they did the work on the uh, exterior facade because it was dropping bricks onto the sidewalk so they had to close it move everybody out and uh, they've been working on it for the last two years or so but they made it pretty nice courthouse the old courthouse the new courthouse is built just right there that's the old that's the new we got the walk signal one block left I made it with enough battery not a lot of narration just a glimpse of what it looks like today, October 19th, 2021. Beautiful day. There's the courthouse going through there. And ending on Markham, right down here. I plan on doing a second and third leg of Markham walking the distance, which I had done from President Clinton Library to the train station. That's the first leg. And then the second leg will be on the other side of the train tracks. So anyway, thanks for watching. 
I'm cutting this off because of my battery and I gotta save enough juice to if I need it. Thanks for tagging along. I don't even know if I said it. Go ahead and tag along. Anyway, thanks. Later. And after a nice long walk, I come to my favorite Mexican restaurant, Cantina Cinco de Mayo. If you're ever down in the downtown area, come check it out. It's Taco Tuesday and it's dead as can be. They're on the corner of 6th and Center Street. This is the best place. <laughs>